Hey buddy, what is up and welcome back to episode 3 of Mario Tell Me The Odds. This is the video series where I attempt anything RNG based in the game of MapleStory M. In the past videos I've done exalts, emblem enhancements, and a lot of fuses. I actually hit one emblem in the very first episode, so if you like watching emblems, check that one out. Episode 2, I got my weapon all the way to level 38, which is really, really cool. In this video I have prepped 75 unique fuses or 150 epic items to fuse together. Um, based off probability, I have about a 93% chance to hit an emblem. That's based off of a, the assumption that it takes 3% to get an emblem, and that number is derived based off of just pure speculation. <laughs> After just compiling all the data that I have, that's basically where I've arrived. It's somewhere between 3 to 4%. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm on my Phantom again, my main character, Simulate. I'm at the location where Majin used to sit at. I'm gonna go into my bag for my fuses. And let's get started. Um, I'm feeling pretty optimi optimistic on this one. I have about a 96% chance to hit one. So, yeah, I don't need gloves, so I prepped like a bunch of gloves for my fuses so I don't mess it up. So, here's the first one. Alright, so lately in the MapleStory M community, they recently dropped a video teasing what the new update is going to be. They've announced Luminous, which I'm really excited. Luminous is one of the most popular classes in the history of MapleStory M because it is one of the first, it is the first class to hit 250 just because of its superior mobbing skills. It also is going to be the second best mobber in the game. The current state of Luminous switching between light and darkness, it forces you to switch to your dominant skill because you get like, I don't know what the, what the numbers are going to be, but in regular MS, it's like 20%. So the sign of like a really geared Luminous versus a like okay-ish Luminous where most of us are going to be, the average people. <laughs> um, it's going to be the sign if your reflection can one-shot or two-shot mobs in the higher star forces. Hey, let's go! I got a Penciler Chaser hat. Emblem, though. Oh, man. I already have one, but... That's still hype. Whatever. I'll check it after after I finish the fuses. So, I guess that 96% is pretty on point, or 93. I mean, the odds are pretty high. Alright, I'm going to keep going. Uh, um, so yeah, the mark of a really good, oh, I got an emblem. The mark of a really good Luminous is going to be if you are if you can just auto battle with your reflection on. Um, it's going to force, I don't know how it's going to work with the ender stuff. Like, <clears throat> there's a point at which your light and darkness are going to stabilize where you just go through some sort of equilibrium. And at that point, you can use the light and darkness skills. Yeah, so the class revolves around light and darkness. So what that means is... It's kind of like um, if you use light skills, you become more attuned to the light side. And if you use dark skills, you become more attuned to the dark side. And it's similar to Aaron, how when you hit a certain combo point, you go into like an like a frenzy mode or something like that. And it like makes your skills a lot stronger. So it's similar to Aaron skills where you go into that frenzy mode and you unlock your like your tornado and all that, except reflections your best mobbing skill. So you want to stay in that light mode for as long as possible. Um, also, the reason why I say that they're the second best mobber in the game is because of the light and darkness switch. If compared to a um, ice lightning mage that can just put his chain lightning on auto battle on his like skill will, he's gonna be doing a lot more kills than a luminous. Um, so yeah. In one of my future videos, I'm going to be dropping a how to play, free to play guide. Um, basically, it's going to cover a bunch of miso farming and how I get all these emblem item, epic, I mean, epic items to do these fuses weekly. Um, I got some help from one of my friends for that video, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I've also like compiled all the data of like all the popular uh, farming spots. <laughs> my dog's back there; she's just chilling. Um, Hey. And yeah, um, that video it's gonna cover everything that you need to know. Like if you're picking up Maple Story for the first time, or MSM for the first time, Maple Story Mobile, and or if it's like winter break and you know you're just looking to apply something, like it's a really fun game to play casually because of the auto battle feature in it. 
Um, it's literally a MMO that's designed for um, people with like not t no time to play um, MMOs because you can go through the MMO grind without having to do like not anything, but you can set your character on auto battle and you don't really lose out for not being able to pay attention to it. Oh, what kind of sucks about this is my capes are on the very bottom. <laughs> um, so. Also in the Mipsory M community right now, the developers released that video which talks about the new patch. I'm really excited about this new patch. I'm mainly excited about the exalts. Like I've been one of the main proprietors for changing of the exalt system. If you don't know, like if you hit 5 out of 5 on your exalt cape, I mean on your exalts, um, your weapon's pretty much bricked and that's like a card term but that basically means like you can't go any further because you hit a brick wall. <laughs> um, so. They said that they're going to be releasing um, Exalt Scrolls, I mean Exalt Reduction Scrolls in the latest video. They also teased that they're going to be doing something else to further progress your equipment. So what? I don't know what that means, but I mean, the fact that you have to do refines and then you have to do Exalts, and then on top of the Star Farcing, that's a lot of progression that you need to make on your weapon alone, um, not including like all your armors and all that. Um, <coughs> They also showed off one of the Luminous skills, excited about that, I touched on Luminous earlier. Um, and then they're also, they also confirmed that they're releasing two new Star Force maps at least. Um, I don't know if they're going to be doing anything in between, but in the video it confirms a Star Force 153 map. So if you're one of those players that's fortunate enough to have Star Force 147 right now, you should really look into progressing further into 153 at least. Um, I know that in KMS and a lot of the hardcore players, um, we've all assumed that it's going to be Star Force 175. Um, we'll see though. What I'm what I'm mainly most excited about those new maps that are dropping is it's going to unlock new miso farming maps because with the Star Force maps they um, release basically new areas. That's why places like um, Rough Canyon and all that are the most popular uh, or most optimal miso farming maps assuming that you don't have the star force to grind at like star force 147 or something like that because the most optimal grind spots are the higher star force of 147 and 144 like there are days where i get like probably like 50 mil on my phantom off off one hot time because phantoms have like a pot list setup and what i mean by pot list is you can grind without using any potions at all so it's really cool um <clears throat> so yeah, um, they also teased some character rebalancing. I know that character rebalancing is a very hot topic in the game of MapleStory. A lot of people, they want their classes to be stronger without actually having to invest a lot into their character. Or you've invested a lot into your character, but you feel like your character is not that strong. For example, um, in the past, before they nerfed Star Force 40, 144, a lot of classes couldn't grind at um, places like... Um, yeah, SF 144 and 147 because even with like a full mythic setup and all that, you know, your character would still struggle if you were under leveled for the area. Um, for example, like Corsairs and um, BMs in the past. I've actually wanted to push a Corsair to Star Force 144 and like grind it out, but um, I couldn't. <laughs> I have like a full unique set of nails dying at uh, Star Force 80, and I was really sad about it. Because Corsair is one of it's the class that I tune most with the GMS like MS1 like when that class first came out I thought it was the coolest class ever because I like the gunslinger fantasy um, so yeah um, so this week in MapleStory M I haven't really been doing much besides my farming um, I've been doing my Empress daily um, Empress is super important to do because Empress unlocks your refine gear I can actually refine like a bunch of my gear right now, but the thing that's gating me right now is the exalts because I don't want to refine without exalting because the incentive for um, refining right now isn't actually that good. Like the set bonuses that you get from it and the power that you gain from it is is practically negligible. <laughs> um, yeah, exalting is a like it's very counterproductive compar by comparison to what exalts do. Like basically, exalting prevents you from easily accessing exalts right now because you need 50 
like you need to refine another piece of gear just to attempt the 50 percent which is really tragic um so yeah things that i'm looking forward to the christmas event and things that you know we could probably expect from ms like the msm um group like nexon nexon um we could probably expect to get um legend unique legendary stones from the shop so if you're looking to upgrade to a pba item or you have a legendary or unique emblem weapon you could probably get a mythic level um emblem the weapon right now so if you want to work on a jane weapon right now it'd be a good time to do it they already told us that they're going to be doing exalts exalt reduction scrolls which is really good for the community because a lot of community players we've bricked at 5-5 five five. Um, so even if they even if they provide like 70 percent ones and hopefully they do like pr provide multiple rather than just one or two like how they did for the one year anniversary that'd be good um and yeah they should be doing the typical legendary stones for armor as well so yeah it'd be a good time to progress your legendaries a little bit further the advantage of using stones to rank up rather than fusing is that you keep the um the star force so make sure you star force it as much as possible the best free to play strategy would be to get it to star force 18 at unique and then rank it up from there all the way to mythic um so i only got one emblem today <laughs> only um yeah so i got one emblem it's this penciler hat and let's see what the emblem is it's boss defense increase all right so my plan with this i'm gonna save it and I'm gonna be using the rank up stones that we get from the event um, for the luminous event, and I'm gonna be ranking it up to legendary, then extract it for traces, and I'm gonna push my character a little bit further like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.